Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ammo Bus Videos YouTube channel. I'm Ammo Bus Videos, otherwise known as Ammo Central, depending on what day of the week and what video you're watching. And welcome to a housing estate. Um, more specifically, let's actually have a look and see where we're at. Um, I believe it's Charter, there we go, Charter Road Estate, the terminus and starting point for the 75 and 76 services. This is Yorkshire County's 3.0 and on Yorkshire County's, um, like the previous variations, some routes run as one service number out and another service number back in. Very odd, very random, I mean I do partially understand the logic behind it, it, it does make to simplify longer services for the customer. However, um, it does take you a little bit of time to get your head around. So in this video, we're going to be driving the 75 service from Charter Road Estate, that's where we're at, um, and we're due to leave now, to Tiverton Station with an arrival time of approximately 36 minutes. However, we will more than likely get there before then, because um, I don't tend to... Um, I don't tend to that take my time, that's the one. I don't tend to take my time when I've got the lovely veiling Volvo B7 RLE pack. And especially with delivery, the operator we've got in, um, got it in at the moment that I'll explain in a bit and explain why this bus has a bit of a relevance to me. Um, it'll definitely mean I'm not sticking about. So we'll get the vehicle all switched on, all set. Well, all switched on, I need to change the blind because the destination is all okay. So we'll put 75 on we will put Tiverton station on we will let people on the bus there we go so the 75 to Tiverton station via Windhaven so this is Diamond Buses North West 30928 now I know that the diamonds are different colours I for the life of me I think this is the North West Green Diamond um, I believe um, from memory although I, I cannot remember because I think the Midlands is red I'm hoping it's that way around. So, but we will we will certainly find out in the comments section. I'm also driving the slightly older, I believe. I believe it's Euro 4 spec one. Euro 4 gasket glazed um, eco matte one. So, I'm expecting it to be a bit of a rocket. But yeah, I've been on um, 30928 um, a couple of times, actually. It's, it's possibly um, the B7 Avalee I've travelled on the most. Um, I just, just tend to end up going on it. I think I've been on it. I've, um, it was one of my last buses, last Diamond buses on the 471 that's now in the hands of Gone Off West. There'll hopefully be a video on the Ambar Central channel very soon, if not already released on there. Um, about the franchising in Manchester and um, so that's now gone off west so I think this was one of the last buses I had with Diamond on the 471 um, and I've also believe um, had the privilege of either this one or a sister example um, on the X22 what used to be the old 300 service um, between the Trafford Centre and Bolton I believe it's I'm sure it was 3092 I went on um, but for memory, it is a fast bus, so if it's replicating anything in this game, we are um, in for a treat. So after the last run that I did with the Vale Pack on the 15 service, I did fancy another um, drive of it on Yorkshire. It just seems to be a vehicle um, that just suits these routes. I mean, they're, they're predominantly single-deck vehicles on them. There's rarely any, any double-deck routes. There's not many at all on here that you can use a decker on. Um... And this just strikes me as the most ideal bus. This, so if you fancy something a bit more retro, um, the Beat and Bailey Renown is the one for you. So what I do also like about this is it's applied the fleet number at the front um, in, in like a really, really nice cool manner. Um, all the fleet numbers um, were part of the vehicle registrations on this. So they're already, I believe it's a pack that I've got um, that put them all in. So... Um, it basically has all of the. I can't remember if it's a pack I put in or they are. It already comes with them. I know that there's one vehicle I've got, and that it comes with the standard set of fleet numbers. Um, and there's another one way I've I'd put an add-on on. I can't remember which way around it is. Um, but basically, I've got all the fleet numbers for the major eclipses, Eclipse Twos, um, in the UK. 
um, with major operators, including the registration flights. And um, it does come in handy um, when you want to sort of pick up a really random bus. Like I tend to drive the first bus ones, but when you want to pick up something really random, like I've done here with Diamond, I've got all of the fleet numbers and all of the registrations already inputted in, so I'm not having to do any research beforehand. I can just literally scroll down and find the regs and find the numbers, and um, that saves me a lot of time. And it means I can just crack on with driving. That's always good. It does also sound a lot better, does this one? There's a bit more, a bit more sound to it. Because you tend to, you tend to find that when you're like me and just want to load in and drive the bus, you always end up going with the. The, the top option, um, and sometimes I, I've found in previous experiences the top option isn't always the best one. Um, an example of this is the C200, where if you scroll down um, on the C200, um, and I believe it's, I believe you go into ZF on it, um, the ZF one just sounds absolutely phenomenal. Oh my goodness me, uh, it is really, really nice vehicle. But it's so easy to forget when you just load in the bus, you forget and you, you don't realise and then as a result you can't appreciate it. Oh, they're going up there, okay. I don't know if they were going to the temporary bus stop or what then. They did not make their intentions clear. Thought they were just going to stand by the static bus and hope for the best. So how are we doing for time? We're already early. I mean, I set off two minutes late. And I'm definitely getting off to a good start. those mirrors sticking out even in real life you you get so conscious when all the mirrors on a, on a narrow road like that if you didn't have the mirrors you could shoot straight down but because you've got the mirrors you are constantly looking in your own mirrors to ensure that you've not clipped one off so so easy done and um, with stuff like that if you aren't careful so easy done i've seen many many people do it um, and sometimes if you're not looking in your mirrors properly and you do clip a mirror um a, a sort of packed car wing mirror or something like that you won't even notice you've done it. You'll drive off and the uh, next thing you know, you've left a scrape down car, you've uh, mirrors lost and you didn't even know until somebody tells you in the office that I have seen happen in the past. Um, it has happened. Again, and then that links on to stuff like your tail swing, for example. Where well, you have to be so, so mindful of your tail swing. Because it's so easy to go from a, a smaller, shorter vehicle to then go to a longer 12 metre vehicle, not familiarise yourself properly and wipe out the rear of a car or a van or a lamppost or a wall and you won't even know you've done it. And if you're on a lovely quiet bus, nobody's there to tell you either. I don't know it says one minute early, but we have a bit more than one minute. Now, I've got to remember not to do what I did in the last Yorkshire video and put bus full on the blind because everybody then gets off the bus that defeats the object of a bus full blind. And we had that discussion in the previous video when I was full on standing and so far to put bus full up and then for some reason bus full is currently um, set up as a not in service blind. Um, so all of the people on the bus then got off that, don't get me wrong, defeated um, and sorted the issue of bus being full so people can get on. However, clearing the entire bus um, by putting bus full up is not really how it tends to work. It's definitely a unique take, I must say.
So yeah, Diamond Bus are still in the northwest. They are still in Manchester. Um, I'm hoping that I have cleared that up in an Ambal Central video at this point. Um, that okay, okay. Um, that just okay. We're not going to question the spawning of that vehicle. Um, Apalapachia. Um, I do need to watch Doctor Who again. Every time, every time I see this taxi, it's like gotta watch Doctor Who again. But yes, um, I'm hoping I have cleared it up in a video already. Um, but Diamond are still in um, Bolton, even. Um, they're the winner of the smaller, not so major franchise. Basically, all of the more smaller local routes have gone to Diamond. Um, all of the evenings and Sundays bits, I believe, as well have gone to Diamond. Um, although I am filming this literally on the first day and I've just spent a, a bit of the afternoon looking um, at bus times, the log, and trying to figure out who's running what. And it's a little bit confusing to try and figure out, if I'm honest. So um, it'll be one of these that I'll have reported on, hopefully, in person. Um, but yeah, it's, I think they're, they're running, by the looks of it, they're running the local service. Well, I mean, there's some surprises in there, don't get me wrong. Um, there are some surprises, such as the 507, the Haywood Circular, that they've retained um, into franchising. I was expecting that to go over to go northwest, but clearly it's not a major enough service to go across. Unsurprising routes, the 573 and 4, um, they look to have gone over. Um, to Diamond, obviously they were Vision routes. Um, I mean, I, I, I enjoyed going on them with Vision because I got all their B9s in. Um, but they've gone, they've gone over to Diamond. They were using smaller vehicles on them, so it's it's definitely a change with these things. Definitely a change. I'm definitely having a good curb day, or so far having a good curb day. Um, after the previous few videos, it's actually quite nice um, to sort of build my confidence a little bit and park back near the curb in the game. Um, for some reason, I've just been, for context, if you haven't watched the previous videos, do go and check them out if you want to already. They, they were some pretty fun videos to film, actually. Um, compared to what I usually do, they, they, were, they were some fun ones. Because sometimes you get some where you just drive the route and that's it, but... I prefer doing these longer videos because it just seems you can build up more of a story, you can have more of the route, it just feels like you're a bit more, there's a bit more going on um, and a bit more can go wrong as well as I have seen. Um, basically the moral of that story is don't max out the veiling whilst going round the tight bend and then um, pause the game for screenshot because I'm telling you now there is no way on earth that you can regain control of that vehicle um, after pausing the game for screenshot. Um, because you just cannot get the steering right and you will end up in a taxi or a similar car, potentially not a taxi, but a similar car. But yeah, it, it's something, it's quite strange for me at this exact moment in time to talk about because this video is going out in a few weeks time, um, so you will have seen all of this. However, as I film it, as I just sort of loaded up the diamond boss and thought, oh yes, fancy a drive of that. Um, it's literally the first day of franchise and the majority of the buses haven't entered service yet and oh don't stop there because I'm blocking everything Ugh. I can tuck in we're fine <laughs> didn't think that would stop at those lights but there we go we just tucked in in the middle of Spaghetti Junction Um but yeah, it's it's really weird to sort of try and discuss it, even though I am attempting because I've literally loaded in a Diamond Northwest bus because um, I fancied a drive of it. But basically, um, can they get past? No, I didn't think they would. Um, basics of it is is they've got a load of new vehicles in um, in the form of quite a few new streetlights that they've transferred from down south. I saw one of them actually on delivery a few weeks ago. Um, they've, they've got quite a few of them up. 
Um, and they've also got some of the ex-first bus streetlights that have just come off lease from the Midlands Division in South Yorkshire. So there is the odd few South Yorkshire examples running around. So a few Potteries ones. Again, I am hoping I will have made a video of them um, by the time this video comes out. Um, but yes, that, that's, they're, they're running them around. That I think is cool, although they are only temporary. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing them in diamond livery. Even though they never entered service in diamond, in full diamond livery, they've been painted in diamond blue, but then had been at work stickers um, plastered straight over the diamond name. So I don't believe, unless it was the odd day or two, I don't believe they actually entered service with diamond on them. They've entered service in diamond blue, full livery, but then the diamond names that were freshly applied were then covered over with a massive B network sticker. So it's it's a strange one, um, very, very strange one. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, but they don't seem to, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but Diamond don't seem to have their eclipses out at the moment. Um, like this one, for example, these seem to have gone, presumably, to Preston to replace the um, old row six plates. That would possibly be the wiser move for them. Um, if that happens or not, it's another question. They might have other plans. But that would seem to me like the, the wisest option um, for them. So these might end up in Preston, like this one, for example, and a few others. I know a few Sitaros are staying on. Um, I've seen them with them applying B-Network stickers. So they're going to be staying on um, in Bolton as well. I think some of the um, BD-64s um, that are still on the road um, are going to be going to be entering service with them um, as well. I understand as well that although there was quite a few vehicles that um, were given branding um, last night that didn't actually enter service today, um, there was the odd few vehicles that didn't actually receive any branding whatsoever. Oh, we're here in the last video um, at this exact bus stop. But there were a few um, vehicles that didn't receive any branding, didn't receive any fleet number, and didn't receive any treatment um, last night and um, the night before franchising for context for when this video comes out. Um, but actually entered service today. So there was the odd one that was pictured an E200, a diamond E200 in full diamond livery with diamond names, with a diamond fleet number, working for Go North West. Um, no no yellow B network stickers on it. Um, nothing to indicate that it's a Go North West or it's part of B network. Absolutely nothing. And it was just running around on the 10 um, in full diamond blue livery with diamond names on. Um, that was certainly not what I was expecting on the first day. Um, and I imagine for passengers of the 10 service, they possibly weren't expecting the concoction of vehicles that they had. And um, for the first time in many years, I had a double decker back on it. And um, for those of you that do remember, um, Arriva Northwest used to use um, Volvo B5 LH. Um, Volvo B5 LH. Um, hybrids on the Thames before they went to Merseyside and they did they did end up in Merseyside um, and then they replaced them with Pulsars Let's, oh. it doesn't need to be that intense there we go There we go, that'll do. But yeah, the Thames was quite interesting. They had their first double deckers back in many, many years um, after the hybrids went. Um, alongside that, they had, oh, what's the name of the company? Um, I think they had some Morbus. Um, MMCs on that I actually last saw in Bournemouth that have just been replaced. Then they had some from the operator that's green and blue. Um, 
what is the name? Tem, they're not Thames Way. Oh, I can't remember the name of them. Um, Swinton, is it Swindon Bus? Swindon Bus, something like that. Um, but the, the vehicles from Swinton, I believe they've got as well. Uh, or Swindon, I believe it is. And um, the green and blue ones that they use there, they had some of them MMCs on. They had a yellow B9 on. They had um, a full Diamond E200. Um, so for people that were quite used to um, Arriva Pulsars, um, it's definitely been an interesting first day on the B network for them. Um, definitely interesting. That will take some time. Um, for everything to settle in and uh, don't get me wrong that's why it's i am going to pause this before we get there and i'm going to turn these wipers up because the wipers are not doing a good enough job at the moment and um, there we go and we are now after last time's trip round here we've learnt our lesson not to pause the game midway around this turn so and especially with the bus skidding, we're also going to slow down a little bit. Because <laughs> I wasn't rather comfortable with that skidding, because I really don't want to repeat of last, of the last video I did round here. That is our one. Thank you. There we go. The joys of having real life weather on means that when you do put, when you go for a place that's cloudy, you do always risk that it is going to chuck it down. Permitted, I don't start a video with it absolutely chucking it down. I don't particularly mind. But I, I tell you, I did not like going around that corner and the bus skidding. That, that was not comfortable. But it is a nice map, is this? I mean, I, I just, I've never really had, had all the time to appreciate it. So I am hoping, as I do always say, but I am hoping this time um, over a few videos. Come on, boss, are we, are we, are we stopping? <laughs> um, the veiling particularly doesn't um, mix with the rainy weather that well. Um, just remember that for future, um, not when you drive a bus, because um, by far on a slightly rainy day when the rain won't have particularly settled on the ground that much um, and made the time that damp um, that was certainly a poor poor braking was that very poor braking so just remember that when you're driving this bus that it appears to become a death trap um, we're going this way um, when the rain's involved because clearly the sensitivity is not at the correct level. And I think the bus thinks it's currently driving on snow. Or very, very similar to snow. Yeah, that that's really not right. It's acting like it's driving in something just less than snow. And rain is certainly not gonna cause a bus to judder that bad from 30 mile an hour to stationary don't get me wrong i could be wrong it might be the it might be a defect on the specific bus but well if it is it's the tires and it's just like going around here that the steering and everything's changed Now, don't get me wrong, when it rains, your you driving does slightly change. However, um, the bus shouldn't change this drastically. Not this drastically, this quickly. Now let's see if we can get a screenshot here. 
Let's see what we can... Oh, no, I don't like that angle. Oh, I like that angle. Oh, I like that. That's, that's quite nice. There we go. And then... Excellent. Diamond take over the 75. This is Aston Lake, yet another lake. Yeah, there's still, it's still really just not enough to warrant. Still not enough to warrant that. There we go, that's a bit better, a bit more ad hoc when required. I think that'll do the job a bit better. Because just as it does that, there we go, it should wipe everything away. Even though it really isn't doing the job. Uh, I don't think I should have changed the wipers, if I'm honest. I think without realising the wipers are actually on the best level. Because now I can barely see a thing and I've nearly missed the bus stop. And now the bus is shouting at me. Okay, that's back up to full whack. And we're nearly there anyway. I think it's... Six more minutes, because it's 54 and we're due there at o'clock, even though we are a bit early. Um, six minutes, so we're definitely not far. Because I think, if I remember, this is the, the Tiverton Station, so this will be where the bar replacement busing game starts. So it's not like a big city bus station is Tiverton. We have in nearly missed the turning. There we go. Totally styled that out. As long as you ignore the bit that I harshly braked because I was rather worried I wasn't going to make the turning. And this is different. It was naturally. Um, I'm sure those two, those two have just multiplied. I'm sure it was one person when I when I stopped. I would say a glitch in the matrix, but it's just a glitch in Omzi. The van's gonna drive through me. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Van man doesn't stop. Van man doesn't stop, even though it was a 30s on. <laughs> I don't think I've had a video recently where I haven't had a single, on, on this map especially, I haven't had a single non-AI problem. There we go, police. Um, where I haven't just had, where I haven't had a, a full drive without an AI issue. Without a car driving into me or me catapulting the bus into them or them popping up and spawning somewhere random or something similar. I can also tell you now that the Hull is Depot when real life is not that big. Um, it's it's a lot smaller, a lot cosier, um, and in fairness, uses the space very, very well. 
very well. I'm going to assume that we're going this way because I certainly was not stopping um, to turn right. There we go, and then I think we're nearly there as I recognise that juncture. Definitely recognise that junction. Oh, come on boss, don't don't slip and slide all over the place, we're nearly there. Minus a few slips and slides um, on definitely tyres that, if they were checked, if they were this slippery and they were checked, I would imagine wouldn't be legal. Um, here we are at Tiverton Station. Goodness me, come on. <laughs> slide all over the place. So there we go, so that is the 75 route. I mean it, it nearly well it wasn't um, when this rain started but lesson learnt I won't be driving um, the veiling pack um, in the rain again because this was just scary. Um, very very scary. And we'll just we'll have some sort of dramatic shot of a hole is going past. Whee! Whee! That looks cool. Uh, right place, right time, and then our bus. So, yeah, that was the 75 service from Charter Road Estate to Tiverton Station Colin at Windhaven. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Ambo Bus Videos YouTube channel for more content like this from the simulation section, as well as an archive of around 6,000 back seats and engine-focused public transport videos from the UK and beyond. With buses, trams, trains, and more, there's something on there for everyone with additional 21 videos added per week. Do also go and check out my main channel, Ambo Central, um, for real-life transport reviews. Um, hopefully a fair bit around Manchester time permitted. I have had time that I have planned, but things can change. Um, as long as, uh, as well as quite a few other videos of interest, a few from around the country. Um, I've been doing a bit of travelling again recently, um, so there's quite a lot to see there. Once again, though, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.